Traveling back to the dusty trails of history, we read about the times when the earth was overburdened by the rule of ruthless despots who were driven by greed for power and wealth. Anyone who stood in their way fell under their sword and chaos and injustice prevailed. Overwhelmed by the torment and pain, Mother Earth sought the help of Brahma, who creates the material universes on the order of the Supreme Lord. Along with the other demigods in charge of managing the different aspects of the material world, Brahma approached the Supreme Lord and offered prayers unto him. My dear devotees, I have heard your prayers. It is time for me to appear upon the earth to protect the good and destroy the evil. Do not fear. I shall free you of your burdens. Your music feeds these creatures' hearts like the warmth of the sun, Krishna. Do you like it, little bee? Is that what you want to say to me with your buzzing? <laughs> Did you know I speak cow, my brother? Let us talk to them too. I can speak squirrel. Yes, it sounded like a tiger. It came from over there. No, it came from over there. It sounded like it was getting closer, didn't it, my brother? Yes, practically in our midst. <gasps> We'd better hide. Hurry, this way. <laughs> See it, Krishna? I think it's over there. It's Krishna! <laughs> so, you are the dangerous tiger, huh? We'll see who's more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 you're the dangerous one, Shida. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Had enough, Shida? Yes, I'm exhausted. Good. So am I. Thank you. You must be exhausted from all your wrestling, Krishna. Here, let us massage your legs. dance like celestial butterflies. It is not only their dancing that is celestial, my Lord Indra. But this delicious nectar which makes everything look so heavenly. <laughs> Fill my goblet and keep it filled. Forgive us, Master. 
But our pitchers have run dry. Then bring more pitchers. There are no more. What? You will bring me more, won't you, dear husband? But it's a special brew made only from the fruit of the tall tree. I'm sure we have other tasty beverages that will satisfy your thirst. But uh, this drink is made only in Talavan, Kamsa's private orchard, and is guarded by the demon Tenukasura. Surely my great husband, Lord Indra, would not let a mere demon make his favorite wife go thirsty. <clears throat> of course not. I shall go to Talavan and bring you back enough sweet nectar to fill a lake. There. <laughs> hey, King Kamsa's royal servants will be coming soon to pick up the next batch of nectar. Then we don't have much time. To steal a few sips. After the nectar passes your lips, keep them sealed. If King Kamsa finds out we stole even a drop, he'll brew the next batch with our blood. We must steal some of Kamsa's nectar before those fools drink it all. We will distract them for you, Lord Indra. <laughs> Stealing Kamsa's nectar will be easier than I imagine. <laughs> Tenukasura! <laughs> no one steals Kamsa's tall nectar and lives to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Your warrior's toys are no threat against me. Perhaps not, Dhenuka, but the power of Indra's lightning is. That delightful aroma. Some kind of wonderful fruit. <laughs> hmm. This kind we are picking doesn't smell nearly as good. <laughs> then let's find this delicious new fruit and bring some back to Vrindavan. It's coming from that orchard. <gasps> no! Look! This is the place Mother Yashoda warned us to stay far away from. It's guarded by the demon, Tenuka, who eats trespassers alive. What's that smell? It's sweeter than mangoes. Madhu's nose speaks the truth. It does smell wonderful. Let's find out where it's coming from and fill our stomachs. Oh, but we have to stay here and look after the cows. Huh? The cows! They're gone! Don't worry, Subala. The aroma must have seduced them as well. And I know just how to find them. Mm -mm. Madhu's nose will lead the way and we will follow. And my stomach will not be far behind. <gasps> Some
someone's coming. Tenukasura. Get down. <laughs> it's Krishna and the cowherd boys. They're heading for Talavan. <gasps> we must warn them. Precious beverage you waste. <coughs> Kamsa's royal servant is right. We must not let Talavan's precious beverage go to waste. <coughs> Tell Kamsa not to worry. His precious drink is safe. <coughs> In my belly. <coughs> This place looks familiar. I don't think we should go in there. We'll have to if we want to get our cows back. They're eating the fallen fruit. We must hurry then. Yes, before something happens to the cows. I meant before they eat all the fruit. Krishna, Balaram, wait, look. <laughs> huh? It's the demon, Tenuka. Huh? Then this must be Talavan. Uh, I think I just lost my appetite. You'll lose your head if Tenuka catches us in Kamsa's orchard. We must leave at once. Wait. We have to get our cows first. Balaram is right. And if we are going to lose our heads for that, we might as well die in heavenly bliss with our tummies full of that delicious fruit. But I don't want to die. Not even for the best tasting fruit in the world. Don't be so scared, Subala. Krishna won't let us die. Dhenuka Sura may be strong, but Krishna is an expert in killing all kinds of demons. Subala, Shridam, you get the cows. The rest of us will collect enough tall fruit for all of Vrindavan. <gasps> the boys are going to steal Kamsa's fruit. They're in great danger. <gasps> we must tell Mother Yashoda. <laughs> Daddy, keep an eye on Denuka and make sure he doesn't come this way. <gasps> <sighs> it's no use. We cannot reach even the lowest fruit. If we cannot go to the fruit, then the fruit will have to come to us. Sounded like someone by the tall trees. <clears throat> Good. I'm hungry after all this drinking. Hmm. <clears throat> Relax. It was just a crazy bunk. <laughs> he must be crazy if he's fallen in love with Tenuka. <laughs> <laughs> you little thief, you'll pay for stealing Kamsa's fruit. Stop him! Daddy, 
He's trying to tell us something. I think he wants more fruit. <laughs> This is Garza's estate. You will be punished <gasps> severely for stealing his fruit. But we're just hungry cowherd boys. Surely there's far more fruit than you could ever use for Kansa's drinking or yours. And you'll be punished even more severely for your insolence. What right does Kamsa have to put a fence around the Thal trees and call them his own? This land is part of Vrindavan and belongs to everyone. In that case, you shall each have a piece of Kamsa's estate. <laughs> For your grace. <laughs> Who's going to get punished now? That would be you. <laughs> Radha, Lalita, what's the matter? The cows! They wandered into... Talavan, Krishna and the others went into the orchard after them. And then we saw... the demon! Venukasura! For stealing Kamsa's fruit, I shall crush him into a bitter brew of... Death. cannot protect you now. Krishna, he wasn't protecting us. He was just playing with you. I, on the other hand, am not as playful. Then you shall be the first to feel my rage. <laughs> <laughs> is the best wrestler in Vrindavan. Something tells me we're not done wrestling, brother. You may have gotten lucky and killed Danuka, but your luck has just run out. Kill them. Quickly, we must lead them away. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Krishna in the orchard with those demons. But he told us to. <laughs> if they want the doll so badly, they shall have it. Crush them with the tree. <laughs> Krishna. Over here, Mother. We were just gathering some tal fruit for everyone. But this is Kamsa's orchard. Not anymore. It belongs to everyone in Vrindavan now. A master really knows where to lead us each day, Bahula. He never fails to find us the sweetest grass. Yes, Ganga. He loves us dearly and dotes on our calves. He sets out each day with a prayer on his lips and the Lord is always with him. But today's grass is extraordinarily sweet. Everything in Vrindavan is sweeter when Krishna plays his beautiful music. a feast fit for a king. Ah, foolish beast. Can't even catch a slow, sloppy cow. Keep running, Ganga. As fast as you can. <laughs> will surely have its fill now. <laughs> Clumsy fool. Get up, Ganga! Get up! Run! <laughs> that pathetic pussycat will starve if I don't intervene. I could watch you devour your meal, but my master grows impatient. Where are they? What news of Pralamba? I'm afraid, O oh King Kamsa, there is no news of Pralamba. I cannot stand the suspense. Why don't they bring me news? I want news! News of my freedom! There must be someone clever enough to kill my angel of death before he comes for me! Vatsasura... You summoned me, my lord? 
I have an important mission for you. I want you to kill my angel of death before he fulfills the prophecy and kills me. Have no fear, my lord. It will be my pleasure to devour the boy like a tasty morsel. The lord must be watching over me. I'm afraid the only one watching over you is me. Wait! I beg you! What? To spare you? After all my running and chasing? Sorry, but I'm just too hungry. I don't ask you to spare me. Just give me some time so that I may return home, say goodbye to my dear calf Tara, and feed her one last time. <laughs> Your fear has made you insane. Am I to let you free and believe you will return? Please! This is Vrindavan and Krishna is my master. I would not make an empty promise. I swear I shall return in one day so that you may make a meal of me. Why should I wait a day when I can satisfy my hunger now? Hmm, where shall I begin my meal? Listen to me, please. I gave birth to my calf just yesterday. And she needs to drink my special foam milk that will nourish her. Let me feed my calf for one last time, and I shall return and give myself to you. You're serious? More so than ever in my life. Oh, very well. Feed her with your special milk, then say goodbye to your calf and return to me tomorrow morning. If you do not, I shall eat you and your calf. Thank you. We need lots of them to make cool, sweet wood apple juice. Wood apple juice! For a yummy drink of that, I'll get you baskets of apples. I'll show you how to get wood apples. I can hit one. I'm so glad to see you. When you didn't return with the others, I thought... Ma! Oh, Tara. Tara. I was so worried about you. I prayed so hard you would come home. And now you have. <sighs> it's a relief to see you safe, Pahula. I thought for sure that Tiger had caught you. Dear Tara, let me look at you. I need to fill my heart with enough of your love to last a lifetime. But you have a lifetime to do that, Ma. <laughs> What's wrong, Bahula? <laughs> the tiger did catch me. <gasps> he didn't hurt you, did he? No, darling Tara. Then there's nothing to worry about. You're safe now. Now, but not tomorrow. Oh. Uh what do you mean, Ma? I promised the tiger that in exchange for letting me see you one last time and feed you the special milk I carry, I would return to his cave so that he can... No, you can't leave me. I won't let you go, Ma. I don't want to, but I must. should be more careful, Daddy. Oh, if we don't get some apples before the girls return, 
I'll never enjoy that sweet, sweet juice. Don't cry, Madhu. I'll get your wood apples. <gasps> you will? As many as you like. After we have a race. Huh? A race? <laughs> Whisper sweet things in your ear, you'll go faster. Move, move, get moving! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yes, doesn't it look delicious? You'll get it, just keep running faster. Faster, faster! <laughs> we are going to win! Just keep going for the delicious treat! That Sweet, delicious. Oh, I can't stand it. I've got to have it. Two more laps to go. Ah, that blue one. I sense that he is Kamsa's angel of death. And I know just how to sneak up on him <laughs> and destroy him. That should be enough to help you grow strong and healthy, my darling. Now, I must go. I must, Tara. I gave my word to the tiger. But he's just a beast. And I must keep it. My dear sisters, please take care of this orphan calf as if she were your own. Ma, come back. Come, come back, Ma. Bahula. I know where you're going. It is noble, but not necessary. You are young, and Tara needs you. I'm just an old cowherd, not long for this world. You promised the tiger a meal. Let me be that meal. Not so fast. None of you cross the finish line first. This handsome calf was the first to cross. Where's the boy who was racing him? Well, if no one wants to claim him, then I will. <laughs> I think the little calf wants to take me for a ride. <laughs> hmm. How could I let myself be fooled by that lying cow? But I didn't lie when I said I'd eat her and her calf. That won't be necessary. I have returned as promised. Yes. And I shall enjoy eating you, as promised. Stop! 
take me. A, a cow is just a meal. But devour me, and I'll not be able to hunt you again. No, don't listen to him. Hmm. The old man has a point. He has led the villagers after me many times. Yes, I shall eat him. <gasps> Tiger, take me. Hmm, the cow is a bigger meal, but the little one will definitely be the most delicious. Then again, eating the old man might just be the safest thing. <laughs> I know, I'll eat you all. Oh. But I suggest you run with the others. Quick! <laughs> decisions, decisions. Which of you shall I eat first? Perhaps the calf would make a good appetizer. Take me. My flesh is more tender. Just let my mother go. No, she barely has any meat on her bones and will never satisfy your great hunger. Eat me and let her go free. Please, take me as your dinner and let these poor creatures go. Eating a man will fill your heart with pride as well as your stomach with food. Subala, Krishna can handle him. for you and picking a fight with that fellow. <laughs> no. Hold this for me, Balaram. There's another meal that requires my attention. <laughs> you made the wrong choice. Why shouldn't I eat this cow? She promised me her life if I would let her see her calf again. She was truthful, was she not? Isn't that a virtue worth rewarding? Uh, the calf, then. 
But Tara has acted selflessly by offering herself for the life of her mother. Surely that is worth your respect. Ah, all right. Very well. Then I shall eat the old coward. I thought tigers were noble creatures. How can you eat an old man who doesn't even have enough muscle on his bones to put up a fight? Forgive me, Krishna, for acting more like a demon than a noble tiger. Oh, Krishna, how can I ever thank you enough for saving my dear Tara? By raising her to be a big, beautiful cow like you. Bahula, I have something to show you. In honor of your truthfulness and selfless actions, this forest shall forever be known as Bahulavan. <laughs> hey, easy! Your tongues are tickling me. <laughs> Why don't you wrap them around these instead? my fine feathered friends <coughs> ah i see what shall i play then <coughs> an excellent choice as you are beautiful. I will wear it with honor. You have stolen their hearts, Krishna. And I want to steal something too. Can you guess what it is? Mm. <coughs> A mouthful of grass? <laughs> no, sheep! Are you crazy? You'll be caught and punished. I don't mean for real, Madhu. I mean pretend to steal sheep. Let's play police and robbers. See? I am a determined thief. <laughs> Indeed you are, Subala. But Balaram and I will be even more determined police. I'll be the shepherd. The rest of you boys can be my sheep. I don't want to be a sheep. I want to be a policeman too. But think of all the delicious grass you can eat. Come, Madhu, have a taste. It's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Your sheep well, Shridham. But they are not safe while I am lurking. Tell me, wise Brahmana. I, uh, Who has been killing all the demons sent by King Kamsa? I don't know. I think you do. Tell me! He, he's just a boy! Give me the name of this boy. Or... No! I, I won't! Have it your way, Brahmana. Too bad the boy won't be saving you. Oh, look, boys. Perhaps comes 
first angel of death is one of them. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for answering my prayers. This time I'll steal this sheep right from under Sridham's nose. Subala was the thief. Who are you? I am Vyomasura. <laughs> and I am stealing you. A demon! Krishna! Krishna! I thought Krishna would catch me for sure. He's the one! He stole some of my sheep! No, I didn't! It was another boy! There are no other boys! You are the only thief! It was you! Was not? Was too! Just a minute! If Subala isn't willing to confess his crime, we'll have to have a trial! be the judge. But I'm innocent. Did you hear that? Subala is innocent. I'm the judge in this court. Who are you to claim he's innocent? I'm his lawyer. Ah, his lawyer. Very well then. Sridham shall present his evidence and Balaram will defend Subala. Make yourselves at home, my tasty friends. I'll be returning with more sheep very soon. <laughs> oh, and feel free to scream all you like. Me too. I'm going to look beautiful, wearing my most festive clothes. I'm sure the sun god will be pleased to look down upon his <laughs> humble devotees. Mmm. He will certainly be pleased when he tastes our delicious offerings. <sighs> I just hope Mother Chandrika and Prabhavati are able to find a suitable Brahmana priest to perform the puja. What was that? A large swan, perhaps. More like a vulture. Sridham, bring forth your next witness. I call Charu. I object, Your Honor. Sridham cannot call Charu as a witness. Why not? Because Charu is a sheep and sheep cannot talk. <laughs> He's not a sheep. He's a boy. Yes. But when the crime was committed, he was pretending to be a sheep. So he must testify as a sheep. Uh, uh, okay. Charu, I mean, uh, my dear sheep, did you see Subala steal your fellow sheep? Ba. See? He said yes. No, he said ba. But Krishna, you saw him nod. A nod means yes. Sridham is correct. When a person nods, it means yes. But when a sheep nods, we don't know what it means. Huh? It could mean his neck is stiff or that he's got fleas. Oh. I think
think Madhu's got a flea in his nose. It's not a flea in my nose. It's a wonderful aroma. Ladoos. Rasgullas. And Sandesh. Mmm. Uh, mm, mm. There. This trial will be postponed while Madhu and I go in search of more evidence. But what about my stolen sheep? Be a more attentive shepherd and you won't lose anymore. What's wrong? Ah, uh, Madhu and I have been chasing a thief. <gasps> a thief? Where? There. He stole our lunches and we chased him so far that we are parched and starving. And what a coincidence that we should be here with Rasagullas and Sandesh. Hmm? Uh, and Ladoos. Madhu is delirious from his hunger. And so am I. Oh, but you girls could save us from starvation with some of your nourishing treats. Oh, do you think one Ladoo will save you? I think it will take two. Well, none is what you'll get. These offerings are for the Surya Puja, not clever boys who chase imaginary thieves. <gasps> Surya Puja? Is that today? I'm sure the noble priest performing the puja will not mind if you give some of your offerings to two hungry boys. After the puja, of course. Krishna is right. Since the Surya Puja is for the young gopi girls, the priests will be happy to share the offerings with the young gopa boys. Perhaps, Madhu, I can put in a good word for you. Uh, who are the priests? You'll have to ask Mother Chandrika and Prabhavati. They're looking for one right now. Uh, uh, you're letting them get away. We didn't even get a single sweet. Who needs one sweet when we can have all of them? All of them? If I'm going to be found guilty of stealing sheep, I might as well steal some. to prepare for the Surya Puja, they will be very disappointed if we cannot find a priest. Chandrika, look! Priests! Two of them. The sun gods are smiling down on us, Prabha. Are you sure the sun god won't frown upon us, Krishna? We are going to perform a sacred puja, Madhu. He will be pleased. E excuse me? Are you sons of Brahmanas? Of course. May I ask your name and where you come from? I am Vishwa Sharma from Mathura. We are the disciples of Gargacharya. How wonderful! We were just looking for such highly qualified Brahmanas as you to perform a puja. I wish we could help you, but we only do pujas for children. The puja is not for us. It's for the young girls in our family. Girls. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't have anything to do with girls, do we, Vishwaji? Never. And we don't worship devis or devtas. Only Surya. But that's exactly who we want you to worship. We want you to do a Surya Puja. Ah, a Surya Puja. That is different, is it not, my fine disciple? Different? Y yes, very different. Yes, it is. In this case, we shall grant your request. Come to Surya Kun Temple this afternoon with all your special offerings and we will perform your puja. Come, we must tell Radha, Lalita and Vishaka the good news. 
Don't exert yourself too much, Gopas. I want you to be tender as lamb when I return. Krishna will stop you. He's killed all the demons that have tried to harm us. Krishna? So, he's the one I've been searching for. I'm afraid he won't be rescuing you this time. Brahmana Vishwa Sharma from Mathura and his disciple. They will be performing the Surya Puja for us. Be seated. Not that close. Uh, um, um, the offerings can be closer. Swasti Richam Shashwat 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 Mantrena Nena Padyadin Mitrayatvam Samarpaya O Mitraya Svaha O Mitraya Svaha Om Mitraya Svaha Thank you, kind Brahmanas. We've never heard such wonderful mantras. Please, take these pearls as Dakshina for your services. That's not necessary. The only payment two Brahmanas need is the pleasure of Surya. Hmm. But we have to honor you with Dakshina, or the puja will not be complete. Uh, well, if you must give us something, I guess we could accept some of those laddus. Uh, and the sandesh. Did I mention that my guru likes rasgullas? We would be honored if you could perform this puja for our young gopis every month. It would be our pleasure, our true pleasure. I feel so blissful. I have never met such magnificent priests. And I've never seen priests with such magnificent sweet teeth. We would be honored if you could perform this puja for our young gopis every month. <laughs> <laughs> And next time, we'll tell them to offer Surya some Shrikhan. <laughs> what have you been doing all this time, Krishna? He's been getting into trouble again. Very delicious trouble. Here, try some. <laughs> Shall we finish your trial, Subala? We don't need a trial. He's even guiltier now than before. Look, he's stolen all of my sheep. No, I didn't. Then where did they go? Into thin air? I know where they are. They're trapped in a nearby cave, praying that Krishna will save them. I'm Krishna. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am 
am Vyomasura, the one who is going to devour all of your missing boys. Just as soon as I kill you. <laughs> Vyomasura said they were in a cave. There's only one cave around here. This way. The entrance is blocked. It's... impossible. <sighs> Agasura, go forth and find my angel of death and take him to the land of the forgotten. Your master commands you. Your wish is my command, O King Kamsa. You shall find him, Agasura. Wherever he may be, my spirit shall go with you. Krishna, look! We've never seen that mountain cave before. Look how it's shining in the morning sun. It must be filled with beautiful precious stones. Krishna, please, let's go. Let's reach the cave. Come on! I'll stay here and take care of the cows. But see that you get back quick. We have to take them to the new pasture today. Where did that strange log come from? I don't remember crossing over it when we came past before. It's too springy to be a log. And far too long! Let's find out where it leads.
here before. Something doesn't feel right. Uh, I think we should go back. Don't worry, Madhu. It's going to be a real adventure. <laughs> I've never seen a cave like this before. No smell one either. I don't like the look or smell of this place. Let's go back. Don't worry, Madhu. Stop being a baby. your deadly trap, have you?
Sharma, you've been a great help. You saved our lives. You saved our lives. Your music makes me feel so light, Krishna. I want to fly like a bird. <laughs> you need some feathers if you're going to fly, Madhu. <laughs> Stop it, that tickles. <laughs> I'm poisoned. <laughs> you are more beautiful than a peacock now, Madhu. Flap your wings and let's see you fly. Up, up. <laughs> I will not let you make a fool of me. Not even for some sweet burfies. away from her mother today. I'm sure she's drunk up all her milk. Not again, Hamsi. Soon you'll beat Krishna at it. Be careful, my darling. I'll be waiting all day to see you before sunset. Hmm? Krishna, oh Krishna, I've got something for you, my little angel. You didn't pack that in my bag, did you, mother? No, no, not for you, Madhu. These special rasgullas, steeped in rose-scented sweet syrup, are Krishna's favorite. And they're only for him. Go on now. I've already given you your lunch basket. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Oh, Komala, you must give some to Madhu too. That's right. Listen to her, mother. Oh, my beautiful bumblebee. You're some of my best Sundays. And just the way you like it. So fluffy and soft, they'll just melt in your mouth. Krishna, my lovely blue lotus. I've got you. That's enough pampering for one day, Krishna. Now run along and see that you share your gifts with your friends. I will, mother. You are so kind to me. Thank you for all the goodies. Yashoda, your Krishna is so special. Look at the way he plays his flute and gets all our boys to dance like butterflies. He charms me every morning that I see him. And I can't get his lotus eyes and sweet smile out of my mind the whole day. Champa's right. <sighs> oh, Yashoda. Sometimes we forget our own boys, lost in sweet thoughts of your little Krishna. You are so fortunate, Yashoda. I really wish Krishna were my own little boy. Me, Me too. too. Oh Lord, I have told you everything as I have seen it. This little boy Krishna certainly must be the supreme person. Bhanu. I am in charge of conducting the material creation. And I know my master, the Supreme Lord Vishnu. Surely he finds no need to give up his abode in Vaikuntha and choose to live among the simple villagers of Vrindavan. Pardon me, my Lord Brahma, but 
Is there anyone else who can defy the powerful laws of material nature? This very morning, he killed the vicious demon Aghasura. Ah, is that right? I am not bewildered, Bhanu. There is nothing about the Supreme Lord that I do not know. As a responsible servitor, I make it a point to be informed of his transcendental activities. Hence, I believe this is the feat of a very powerful magician. Nevertheless, I must make sure who he is before he bewilders the innocent humans. Yes, my lord. Hmm. It is about time I dealt with this myself. I shall descend upon the earth into the village of Vrindavan where he lives. You will accompany me, Bhanu. Yes, my lord. happy to see you as you are to see me. There's no place like the beautiful forest of Vrindavan. I love these forests too, Krishna. And do we ever get hungry around your daddy? That's the end of the fruit, the monkey, and the greedy boy. <laughs> so, this is where the blue boy hides, lost in play and pranks. Where then does all the magic lie? What kind of magic can this little cowherd make? The kind that can do this. This is the python Krishna killed this morning. How can he Bhanu. not... Bhanu! Oh, Bhanu. Why are you so flustered? I have an idea. Yes, yes, my lord. But I fear we have a very clever wizard to deal with. Have you forgotten that the Lord has given me charge of the greatest task in the universe? Can Brahma not find out the secret of this little magician's tricks? Come close. Tamsi, eat up so you will become a great big cow someday and give lots of sweet milk for Krishna and Balram. I have the best samosas today. There's enough for you too. Mm. Oh Krishna, look at this snowy white rasgullas my mother sent. Please take some. Hmm? Mm. My mother sent me lovely little kachoris. She told me to share them with you. Mm -hmm. Oh Krishna, I have your favorite rose sandesh. Hmm. Please take some. And now, my beloved friends, look what I've got. The sweetest, the most fragrant. Mango Shrikhand. 
And Mother has packed enough for all of you. Krishna, Krishna, I can't find the calves. I've looked for them everywhere. Come on, Subala, sit down. You haven't even had your lunch. I'll take care of it, Subala. They must have wandered into the forest. Just sit down and eat. All of you stay here. I'll be back with the calves. the calves anywhere. I think I need your help. Huh? Madhu? Sridham? Charu? Subala? Where are you all? Wishes to play with me. I have appeared on the earth on your call, and now even you are really bewildered. Subala, Madhu, have you seen my son yet? Krishna and the boys have not returned. They should have returned hours ago. It is already late, and these mothers are anxious about their sons. I shall not allow this trick of Brahma to break the hearts of these mothers. The dear mothers of Vrindavan love me so much. They have longed to have me as their son, and the cows of Vrindavan love me even more than their calves. I shall give them all the chance they are waiting for. I shall fulfill their pure desire. As my darling Subala. Oh, Yashoda, how bright all the boys look! They appear very special this evening, almost like Krishna himself. You're right. There is some magic in the air. And so, as Krishna continued to manifest himself in place of his missing friends. The days passed happily, as did the seasons. And while Brahma kept the coward boys and calves hidden in dreamland, 
Krishna kept the parents of Vrindavan filled with joy and the cows filled with milk for their beloved calves. The villagers could not see the cause of their constant bliss. The truth was that every home had Krishna and every barn too. Krishna was everywhere. Yashoda, there is an amazing sense of happiness in Vrindavan these days. That's so true, my lord. I don't hear anyone complaining. Fathers and mothers are so happy with their children. As for the cows, the milkmen have a hard time taking their calves away from them. Their love for the calves seems to overflow. I feel so happy to see the mother's eyes light up magically with great affection for their sons. Just the same way I feel for Krishna. I've wondered what special magic spell I'm under when I'm with Krishna. Now I see that happen with all of them too. That's it. Magic spell. That's what Vrindavan seems to be under. Hmm. A magic spell. Oh, oh Krishna. I know it's you. Oh, Lord! How have I got myself into this fix? Already one year has passed on Earth. Let me go to Vrindavan and find out what Krishna is up to, having lost the boys and calves. <laughs> How can this be? The cowherd boys are asleep in the clouds and the calves hidden away in the happy dreamland. <laughs> How can they all be here playing with Krishna? What, what, what is this? And how is my lord fish? I am Brahma. Who are all these Brahmas? What what is going on? Oh Lord, what is going on? Lord, <laughs> my Lord, my Lord, what have I done? What have I done? Forgive me, my dear Lord. Chatur Mukha Brahma, I am here to answer your prayer as I had promised. Alas, even such a powerful person as yourself has fallen into illusion and forgotten the absolute truth. I know you are my devotee and have no envy in your heart for me. So, I have made this elaborate arrangement to teach you the entire truth. Behold, I have summoned Brahmas of different universes so you may understand the complete truth about yourself. Of the thousands of universes, you are in charge of just one. There are bigger universes than yours and Brahmas more powerful than yourself. Things are much bigger and more complex than you can possibly imagine. My lord, I am an insignificant glow worm before you, whose brilliance is more than a thousand suns. But how is it that your simple friends of Vrindavan are not bewildered by your great feats? They just adore you as their darling boy. Their love is pure and intense, Brahma. Whatever I do, However small or big, they simply love me. I cannot be understood simply by Vedic knowledge or yogic meditation. I can be understood only by love and devotion. O oh Krishna, origin of all Vishnus, O oh Master, please forgive my grave offense. You have 
mercifully revealed yourself to me and I am eternally grateful to you. May I always remember and cherish you in this beautiful boyish form, playing with your friends and calves and remember what a big fool I have been. Asleep. It's time to return home. <sighs> Krishna, I had the strangest dream. Me too. That's what happens when you sleep all afternoon with bellies full of goodies. Uh, it seems like we've slept for a whole year. Yes, sometimes telling the time can be very difficult. A magician. <laughs> and so, little Krishna demonstrated his wondrous feats with his superpowers and his stories of heroic valor as a best friend, a naughty prankster, a lovable child, and the conqueror of evil demons are cherished even today. <laughs> <laughs> 